the Mechanized Infantry Division has acquired light tanks to provide a starting point for the Philippine Army's goal and re-establishing its lost armored capabilities. In this video, we will see the Pandir II, 8x8 wheeled armored vehicles of the Philippine Army, and see its combat capabilities. Philippine Army's light tank acquisition project was born after a long study and debate within the organization on whether to go for heavy main battle tanks whose combat weight is between 55 to 70 tons, or light and medium tanks whose combat weight would be less than 42 tons. While plans to acquire main battle tanks remain, the mechanized infantry division would like to learn first from operating modern light or medium tanks to determine if they're suitable enough to meet their current and future requirements. On 2020, Elbit Systems chosen to supply light tanks to Philippine Army. The contracts are said to include nearly $200 million worth of 18 as COD-2 tanks and 10 Sabra Pandir 28x8 wheeled tanks. One is COD-2 Armored Command Vehicle and one is COD-2 Armored Recovery Vehicle, worth approximately $196 million. All tanks are equipped with an Elbit turret with a 105mm gun, an E-Link's computer-based communication system and a Torch X battle management system made by Elbit. The contract includes the supply of 105mm tank gun ammunition. On April 15, 2021, the Department of Budget and Management has released funding worth more than 2.9 billion pesos. This amount covers the second of three multi-year contract contractual authority budget allocations for the light tank acquisition project. This means that the project continues to proceed as planned after being awarded to Elbit Systems Land C4I in 2020. The project will proceed with the planned delivery of the initial batch by early 2022 and the completion of delivery by 2023. The Panier 2 is a fire support vehicle, a member of the Panier 2 armored vehicle family. It was developed by Austrian Steyr Daimler Putsch as a private venture. The Panier 2 fire support vehicle that the Philippine Army acquired is fitted with an Odo Malara Hitfact turret. This variant is also armed with a 105mm L52 low recoil gun. This system has a three-man turret. The maximum rate of fire is six rounds per minute. The maximum range of effective fire is 3.5 kilometers. Both variants of the Panier 2 fire support vehicles are fitted with a secondary 7.62mm machine gun. The armor of this vehicle protects against 7.62mm armor piercing rounds. Optional add-on armor provides protection against 14.5mm armor piercing projectiles. Small liners and improved mine protection are offered as an option. NBC protection and automatic fire suppression systems are also optional. This fire support weapon has a crew of four, including commander, gunner, loader, and driver. The vehicle is powered by the Cummins ICS 350 diesel engine, developing 285 horsepower. The Panier 2 fire support vehicle is also available with a 400 horsepower diesel. Power pack can be removed and replaced in field conditions within 30 minutes. Since the Philippine Army originally requested 144 light tanks and 114 wheeled APCs in its original proposal submitted in 2017, it remains to be seen. If the Army will pursue the acquisition of 116 more light tanks and 86 more wheeled APCs under the third phase of the revised Armed Forces of the Philippines Modernization Program, which runs from 2023 to 2027, 